Okay, so let's take a look at no hangup. Let's say that you want to run a command or script on a remote machine over SSH. If for any reason you lose connection to that machine, whatever you are running will terminate. There are many reasons that you could lose connection like power outages, Wi-Fi dropouts, switch or router failures, weather related incidents, ship anchors, shark attacks, and many more. In fact, it's a wonder you're able to watch this video. Of course, if the remote machine is affected by a power outage or any other local event, there is very little that you can do on your end to mitigate that. You might be thinking, well, I can just use a multiplexer like Screen or Tmux, and you would be correct. Either of these will solve this issue. The only problem is Tmux and Screen might not be installed and you may not have the ability to install one of them. So what other options do we have? Well, if you can use LS, that should mean that you have no hangup. All you need to do is prefix whatever you want to run with no hub, run it as a background job and you're done. Let's go over a simple example. As this is a background job, we can list it with the jobs command. So you can see it's running. Let's close this terminal window now. And as you know, if you've already watched the video that I did on jobs, this script should also stop running. So as you can see, this script is still running. You may have noticed that we didn't need to redirect the output from our script to a file to stop it from writing to our terminal. This is because no hangup will automatically create a file in the directory that you ran it in and will store the output there for you. So let's have a look at that file. If no hub doesn't have write permissions for the directory that it's running in, it will then save this file to the home directory that is referenced by the $home environment variable. You can change the file that nohub writes data to by redirecting the output when you start your job with nohub. By default, no hangup ignores standard input, so we will not be able to provide any input to our job. Let's look at some ways that we can get around this. As an example, I have this simple Python script that requires input. You can see that our no hangup job has stopped as our script tries to read from standard in. Nohub's default behavior is to redirect standard in from an unreadable file if standard in is a terminal. This might seem annoying at first, but makes a lot of sense. If we close our terminal, the standard in that Nohub would have been using will no longer exist. The same can be said for standard out and standard error. That is why they are also redirected automatically if you don't manually do so. To solve this, all we need to do is redirect standard in for our script. We can accomplish this with a named pipe. We now have our named pipe that we will be able to use with our script. Let's remove our old nohup.out file. So this time, let's redirect standard in for our script. If we have a look for our no hangup output file, it doesn't seem to be present. Let's have a look at the job that we're running to see what state it's in. It looks like it's running, but we can't see the output as we don't have a nohup.out file yet. Let's kill our job and go over what is going on. The job we are trying to run is actually being blocked by our pipe. As it's only connected on one end, the pipe is blocking until the other end is connected. Pipes are only pipes when they are connected on both ends. So in order to allow our job to run, we need some way of connecting our pipe at the other end. We could send some data down it, but that will not really help in our situation as we don't know what kind of input we will need to provide because we're not able to read any output yet due to our blocking pipe. What we really need is a way to hold a connection to the pipe without actually sending any data through it and holding it open for as long as we want. Let's open a text editor and create something that will do exactly that. So let's start with the shebang to indicate that this script is running under Python 3. And now let's get into the meat of what we want to achieve. We want to open our named pipe for writing. And that's it, we're done, almost. All we need to do now is prevent this script from closing as executing just the single line where we open our pipe for writing will execute in a fraction of a second and there will be nothing left to do in our script, so it will close. If we write an infinite loop, the script will just continue to stay executing and never finish until we kill it. 
We will also need to slow this loop down, otherwise it will just run as fast as the CPU will allow and consume resources unnecessarily. And the last thing that we need to do is import the time module to satisfy our time.sleep dependency, and we're done. This script could have been written in a more general way. Instead of hard coding the pipe's name, we could have made the script take a command line argument so we could set the path to our named pipe when we run it, but this should be sufficient for this example. Let's make it executable. You could also do the same thing as a bash shell script. This script does exactly the same thing. As we want this process to be immune to hangups, we need to run our pipe stint script as a background job with no hub first. One thing we should take note of is the PID of this job, as it will continue to run even after our script has completed. We could create a file to put that in, so we know to kill it when we are done, or we could create the file that no hup will append output to and make it the first line in that file. Now we can run our other job and our pipe should no longer block its execution. If we ls, we can now see that our nohub.out file has been created. We can now read the contents and determine what input we need to provide to our script. Using our named pipe, we can send input to our background job. And if we close our terminal, our background jobs will continue to run. But before we do that, let's just copy the PID of our pipe stint program first. If we take a look at our nohub.out file, we can see that our job continued to run and more input is required by our job. Now if we look at our nohub.out file, we can see that our script completed successfully and processed all of the input that we sent to it. All that is left now is to kill our pipe stint job as it will run forever unless we do so. You can see that when we try and list it with our jobs command, it doesn't show up, but it is still a running process. So to get rid of it, all we need to do is use kill with its PID. Okay, so that's brought us to the end of this video on no hang up. I hope you found it useful and thanks for watching. Goodbye.